What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel once again. Uh, today I have some, some Call of Duty Zombies here on, on this Saturday morning that I'm recording this. Uh, I just woke up actually, like three hours ago actually, uh, but I still kind of, I do sound tired I, I feel. Uh, in, in my, through my headset I, I, I kind of sound tired I feel. Uh, you know, I, I have a new routine of of getting up early on Saturday mornings and uh, getting all everything I have to, I have to get done. I, I I do it on Saturday mornings. I, I get all my shit done, all my homework, all of my YouTube stuff if I have any that I want to do, and then I uh, have the rest of the weekend to chill out. And it's been working out pretty well. But today, today's been been a little bit different. Uh, it's been a very lazy Saturday so far. I woke up at like 6.30 in the morning. Normally the time when I would get up to go to school, which is awful since it's cold, and getting up at 6.30 is like the coldest time of the day for me, and uh, having to drive and having to go outside, it's just, it, it's not it's not a great thing. And I feel like when you wake up in the morning, you're, you're just less immune to the cold in the first place, so it's just a lot worse. But today it was like, it was something magical. You know, you you experience getting up every single day during the week, and then the weekends you, you sleep in, you enjoy your, your weekend, and you don't even realize what it's like to wake up at, at the same time as as if you normally would have to during the week, if that makes sense. Uh, you know, like normally I'd wake up at 6.30, get up, go get ready for school, and then go to school. But this morning I was able to sit underneath my, my layers on layers of, of blankets and just... Uh, just uh, bask in the the minimal light that the sun was producing at the time because it is it's still like pitch black at like 6 30 in the morning and uh i don't know i wish i could have slept longer but you know it's just something magical just to sit there and realize i don't have to get up today so anyway uh, i got some call of duty zombies some black op zombies on kino der toten the the original zombie map for black ops 1 which, you know, I've been having some nostalgia trips recently. Uh, this is this time of the year is like a very nostalgic time of year for me. Uh, mostly because of video games, and that's really the only reason. Video games and, and, and YouTube, because this time of the year was the time of the year that I was you know, just starting out on YouTube. And I always say these nostalgia stories for you guys, and I'm sure they probably get boring after a while. Uh, or right away they get boring. Uh... But, you know, I don't know, for some reason I just I wanted to go back and play some Black Ops 1. Last year was Modern Warfare 3, or Modern Warfare 2. This year it's Black Ops 1, you know, just kind of moving moving up. Maybe next year will be Modern Warfare 3, who knows. I don't know, I still have some good memories from Modern Warfare 3. And I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking, he's going insane right now. I don't know what's going on. Uh, hopefully no one's trying to break in. But anyway, uh, I don't know, I wanted to go back and play some Black Ops 1, because, you know, it... It doesn't seem like it was that long ago when this game came out, but I'm a senior in high school now. The game came out when I was a freshman, uh, so it's been a while, and just to go back and play like this Zombies map, I remember playing on the first day the game came out. Like I remember not caring about anything else in the world that was going on. I remember I had some like business to take care of, some actual school business, some uh, business clubs I had to go to, but I skipped them. <laughs> and just just so I could go play Black Ops, which doesn't seem that bad, considering you know this is this was a game I waited for since I first started playing Call of Duty. Uh, you know, online I told this story before when I played Modern Warfare Two for the first time online. I just couldn't wait for the new one to come out. So uh, anyway, just this game. It's 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 great. It's probably as much as I I bitched and moaned about this game when it was out. I I love it. There's just it has a special place in my heart, and uh, going back to play it was a lot of fun. Uh, I tried to play some multiplayer to uh, to get some gameplays for this instead of zombies because you know I always upload zombies, it's just easier. Uh, I wanted to get some actual gameplay uh, from multiplayer, but I realized that I am really bad at this game now, like really bad. Like normally I'm bad, and I can play a couple games and then get back to where I was. But now I feel like I'm some dad that's like, hey kids, uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to play the new uh, 
I'm going to play your new Call of Battlefield game with you guys today. Because I paid for your Xbox and uh, you can't backtalk me or I'll take it away. <laughs> so, I, I feel like that. I, I just, I don't really know how to use the controller. Uh, I can't aim anymore. I don't know. I, I decided. I decided I'm going to get Call of Duty Ghosts on Xbox. I uh, wasn't sure. I was really hoping this would be the year that I'd finally stick it to Activision and not buy their game. But, you know, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I I have too many... I, I have too many friends. <laughs> I have too many friends that are uh, that are getting it. And, uh, you know, when they're playing it, I'm not going to be able to sit there and, you know, go into an Xbox party playing GTA V just by myself. Going, like, hey, is the game good, guys? While they're all having fun. So, I decided to get... Call of Duty over Battlefield, which is something I did not expect. When I first saw Battlefield gameplay, I thought that, that Battlefield would be the game that I was going to get this year. But I'm just not going to. As much as I would like to get Battlefield, I don't have the money to get both of them. And uh, I'll probably get Battlefield around Christmas time. So, you know, I'll have to wait a couple more months. But um, I don't know. Just, you know, Battlefield is a game that I'm not going to get on Xbox. Never, never, ever, ever. Uh, and I don't know too many people that are, I don't know anyone that's getting on it on PC, so what am I going to do, play by myself when I could get a game that's that I could play with other people? Because right now, for me, gaming is more of a social thing. It's It's been, for, for a while, it's been kind of a thing that I could go and play by myself and still enjoy. I mean, online gaming. You know, I could still play Fallout and Assassin's Creed and Skyrim and still have a good time by myself because, you know, that, that game is supposed to immerse you in, in the in the world of, you know, either nuclear fallouts or crazy medieval worlds with magic and, and all that. Or being an assassin. So, multiplayer games are different. I just can't get myself to go and play a multiplayer game by myself. I just, I rage. I just don't like it anymore. And, uh, I, as soon as I have, I have friends to play with, I actually enjoy myself. So, if I go play Call of Duty, I could have some fun with some of my friends and, uh, you know, still get, get the game that I've always gotten since Call of Duty 4. You know, this would have been the first year that I would have missed out on a Call of Duty launch, but I don't think it's going to be this year. And really the biggest reason why I'm going to get it is because I have off on the midnight release, so I'm going to go to the midnight release and uh, this will be the last year that I'm going to be able to do that with my group of friends probably because, you know, after this year we'll all go our separate ways to different colleges, you know, meet up around Christmas time or Thanksgiving uh, to hang out, you know, when we all come back home, but otherwise, you know, we're not going to be able to go to midnight releases, we're not going to all come home from, from our, uh, from college just to go to a midnight release and then go back, you know, it just doesn't work like that, so it's going to be the last time I'm going to be able to do this, and, uh, might as well, uh, go enjoy myself, because last time I went to the uh, Modern Warfare 3 midnight release, that was the only other one I went to, I got there, got my spot in line, because they give you a little spot in line with your, with your receipt, and I, uh, I went home, took a nap, got all my recording stuff ready to to make some videos that night when I got the game, and I came back at eleven thirty and picked up the game. Still got the game, but you know I didn't enjoy the the event of of being at a midnight release. So this year, it's gonna be different. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know, stay there and enjoy myself. So it'll be exciting. It will be. I'm hoping. Uh, so. Anyway, I think that's really all I wanted to talk about. I guess, uh, did I say, oh yeah, I did talk about it. Saturday morning is my productive time. I'm going to make this, I'm going to finish recording this. I'm going to go, I'm going to, uh, do my homework after this and maybe record some Minecraft after. But, you know, I got to get everything done before around one o'clock when I go to watch some college football. But, you know, college football to me isn't really as fun as, or as interesting as NFL, I know a lot of people, especially in the South, love it. But to me, I don't really have a team to follow. The, you know, the closest college to me has an awful football team, so it's not like I could just go to their games once in a while and watch them on TV any time I don't go to their games. You know, it's not like I live next to Alabama or Georgia universities, of course. Uh, so uh, actually, Georgia really isn't. They're they're all right, but you know, they're not. I don't think they're even ranked. I don't know. Whatever. I just watch the games whenever it's two ranked teams. I, I, I'm i sure they're going to be good games. You know, Texas A&M is a pretty interesting team to watch. Uh, so I've been watching them I mean, anytime they play. 
uh, because of Johnny Manziel. Uh, but anyway, that's a 10-minute video right there. 10, 10 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. So uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, I'll, I'll do the rest of this gameplay in the next video. So if you don't like zombies, you don't have to watch. But uh, that's, that's what it's going to be. You'll see me fail in round 13. And I spoiled it. So whatever. Thanks for watching. Rate the video and comment and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you all later.